Let's say our analyst is working the phones and takes a call from a user who's having trouble with Microsoft Outlook. Right from the current screen, the Service Desk Analyst just needs to click Search Knowledge from the menu. Service Manager automatically uses the ticket description to return results. All in one screen, the analyst can see knowledge content from other tickets, external knowledge, known errors, as well as time-sensitive hot news. And the knowledge search results are based on profiles, so the user performing the knowledge search will only see the articles and type of information they have access to view. If one of the articles is the solution needed, simply click Use Solution to apply the content of the knowledge article to the ticket. Creating a knowledge article from scratch is simple in HP Service Manager. To get started, simply select Contribute Knowledge from the Knowledge Management menu. The system will then prompt the user for the type of knowledge content they want to create. Knowledge types allow the content to be displayed differently. In this case, we can select Reference to submit an article on converting a PDF to a Word document. Now we'll just fill in the basic information such as the title, summary, and actual article content. The content of the article can include rich text, images, hyperlinks, and even be indexed from external sources. You can also add documents as attachments. You can also preview the document at any point in the editing process to see how it will look once published. Knowledge can also be submitted directly from an existing ticket. This makes it easy to create formal articles for common fixes or alert others about something important. For example, when creating an article from this incident, the title, description, and resolution are all copied into the draft document. Here we can also optionally select that this item is a hot news item. This type of content is available in a specific time frame and is typically more relevant at certain times, such as a server outage or infrastructure failures. Knowledge searches can be done from any ticket, including interactions, incidents, problems, and known errors. We simply need to click the More menu, then click Search Knowledge. This will always take the description of the ticket as the basis for the search. We can also query the knowledge base directly using the menu. The search engine within Service Manager is very powerful and adaptive. It not only automatically includes similar terms in its search, but it also learns through use. This adaptive learning feature connects the dots between the queries that were used to find documents and the content in the documents. Also, the advanced search opens up powerful and granular search capabilities. You can select libraries to include or exclude, or search by specific tags or categories. Service Manager provides several options for maintaining the knowledge articles over time. First of all, a knowledge manager can simply edit the knowledge article in place. Editing a document in place is an option that allows you to edit published documents and then republish the document immediately for either internal or external use without sending the document through the workflow. The knowledge manager can also create a working copy of the article. A working copy of a knowledge document is created so the article can be edited through the document workflow. The article is still published while the editing is going on, but when the working copy of the document is published, it replaces the original document. In addition, published articles can also be retired. When an article is retired, it is removed from publication and no longer shows up in search results. The retired article can be left in this state as an archive or removed entirely or edited and republished. It is also important to note that Hot Topic Analytics can greatly assist with managing the knowledge base. For example, if we search incident tickets that have a cause code of lack of user knowledge, this will give us a picture of where some attention may be needed in the existing knowledge content. From this list of tickets, we will use Hot Topic Analytics to see trends in the incidents which are a result of a lack of user knowledge. We can then choose one of the tickets as an example and create a knowledge article directly from it. Let's take a minute and go back to Amy Lopez, our business end user, and see how she can search knowledge. 
Amy can just start typing what she's looking for in the search box and is presented with all of the articles she has access to. Here she selects the article related to a driver issue and finds it helps her with exactly what she was looking for. Amy decides to take a minute and give some quick feedback on the article. She can simply click on the thumbs up or down to indicate the usefulness of the article, or she can provide a more detailed comment. In addition, each time an article is selected, it affects the relevancy score and rating, making it more popular for future searchers. These comments and votes are all stored as part of the document's history and viewed regularly by knowledge administrators. This type of feedback can be easily aggregated on a report for administrators. But we can also go a step further with HP Smart Analytics. Smart Analytics can provide a hot topic map of knowledge document feedback. For example, if we drill into this report, we get a list of all the poorly rated articles. Instead of analyzing them one by one, we can get a clear picture of the issue with a topic map. Here we can see most of the issues are with Omega. We can then drill in and take the appropriate action, whether to revise the article or potentially retire it. Let's go back to our knowledge article that's in the draft phase. We can now click Submit to have the article enter the first phase where it will be viewed by others. In a typical document workflow, the document is routed to the revise, review, and publish phases before it is actually published internally or externally. In the triage phase, the draft article is reviewed by a knowledge analyst. The analyst can edit, accept, or reject the document. If necessary, the document can be passed to a knowledge expert who can also edit, accept, or reject it. The knowledge expert is typically a subject matter expert with more in-depth understanding of a given topic. The knowledge manager makes the final decision about whether to publish the document or return it for further revision. Publishing internally will make the article available only to IT users, whereas publishing externally makes a document available to all users, including business end users.